We are back with the new lab-grown chicken that was just approved for sale in the U.S. Could be headed to your dinner plate. Devin Dwyer has the details. Good morning, Devin. Hey, good morning, George. Americans ate 75 billion pounds of red meat and chicken last year. But what if some of that meat was not raised on farms, but instead of high-tech facilities? Scientists say that could be good for the environment and your health, and soon it could be on menus and store shelves. This morning, the USDA has approved cell-cultivated meat to be sold to the public for the first time. So that's where it all starts, just a few cells. Two cultivated meat producers now getting the green light to begin commercially selling their chicken, not raised on a farm, but in a facility. The meat is grown using real animal cells and large bioreactors fed with nutrients. I recently got a tour of California-based Upside Foods, the nation's first and largest cultivated meat producer. You're making chicken in there. Yeah, so if you look at this, this is a approximately a 200 plus liter tank. And we take cells from a chicken or an egg. It takes two weeks to grow the equivalent of one chicken. A thousand chickens or a hundred thousand chickens. So you're saying in this factory you can make more meat faster and cleaner than an average farmer? Well, ultimately, yes. The company says cell cultivated meat could help feed the world's booming population using a fraction of the land and water of animal farming and help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Many experts say more study is needed. I got to try this cell cultivated chicken at the facility in California, guys. I got to say the texture was a little bit different, but it did taste like chicken. The company says they hope to get it on restaurant menus in the next few weeks, then maybe on store shelves in the next five years. And dozens of startup companies are getting in on the game, guys. You mentioned the texture. So is it more like?